Hi, I'm Brian Gucci. I'm here at Tactics in Eugene, Oregon, and I'm going to wax my snowboard. <laughs> so, starting off with waxing, you want to set your iron. Not too hot, you want to make sure it's, it's warm enough to penetrate the base, to get the wax in the base. But you don't want to burn your board or burn, you know, your, your, your uh, shop down. <laughs> so you got to be careful with that. And um, I'm letting the wax, uh, I'm letting the iron warm up. Um, have it set about three quarters of its maximum temperature. And I'll let that sit for a second. And uh, the main reason we wax snowboards is to go faster. Um, if you don't wax, your board's gonna get slow. You're not gonna make cat tracks. You're gonna be, you know, just holding up your curve. So waxing is important. Um, testing a little iron to see. Okay, this seems like it's warmed up enough. So I'll just start, go tip to tail, and just get like some small drips going along the edge, and then go along the other edge. And everybody waxes differently. The most important thing with waxing is just make sure you get all of the base. And uh, I, I tend to like wax heavy on the rails because that's where it seems to wear off fastest. When you're turning a lot, you know, I'll notice my, my, my rails will get dry. So I tend to wax heavy and really take my time making sure it gets in. And then uh, I'll just go over the base and start kind of small, not do too much wax, try to use a minimal amount because you're going to have to scrape. So. Yeah, and then I'll just uh, kind of work it from the tip to tail. It takes a minute. <laughs> yeah, a good way to feel if it's warm enough is feeling underneath the board and feeling if you feel the warmth penetrating through. Um, that's always a good, a good sign that it's, uh, you know, fully coming to temperature and really absorbing into the base so you get the maximum performance out of your wax. I live in a cold climate, so I tend to use an all temperature wax. Um, I uh, work with Bluebird Wax and you know my friend Willie started the company years ago in his, in his uh, garage and um, it's come a long way since then of you know using the cupcake tins and you know trying experimenting with different things but you know he's got a good formula dialed that, uh, that I'm comfortable with and it's just an all temp um, kind of good for everything wax. In the spring I'll, I'll use a uh, specific spring warmer temperature wax. It's really important to wax for the climate and temperatures you're riding in. Um, here in the Northwest, you're going to want something, you know, appropriate for the conditions that you have. You know, if it's a little bit wetter and warmer, you'll want to change your wax. So, I mean, those are some of the tips that I think of off the top of my head with waxing. Yeah, so I just take my time and try to make sure everything gets, gets covered. And, uh, you know, it's, everybody waxes differently, so let's find out what works for you. Yeah, waxing becomes like a, a ritual in the in snowboarding, I mean, you notice when your board's starting to get slow, you definitely want to stay on it and keep your board moving fast. So it's a good habit to get into. And I don't know, at the beginning of every season, I really look forward to the first day, you know, when the see those storms coming to, you know, get the boards waxed, get it all ready to go. It's just the smell and like the whole process just reminds me of so many good days. I've got the board all waxed and it's, uh, it's still warm. And I want to scrape while it's still warm. That's the way I personally do it. Um, I like to have, it's just easier when it's warm and uh, it, works, it works great for me. Everybody has a different style and technique. So um, just try to get as much, wa I try to get as much wax off and just make sure the base is smooth. Um, I notice like in colder climates, it's nicer to get a lot of the wax off. And uh, yeah, you just start scraping the tip, the tail. And it's nice to have a, a little uh, bucket to catch your, sh your scrapings into. Keeps it cleaner. Less mess to clean up. Yeah, I might have forgot to mention, like before you start waxing, it's good to clean your base. Um, there's a couple different products out there you could buy that, that are specific to base cleaning. And it, it helps, it helps to have a clean base before you wax. Keeps your board looking better and it helps with wax absorb more. I'm pretty happy with that. And then from here you could um, grab a brush or a burla pad and just um, kind of buff it out. These are, it's actually come in really handy too if, you're, uh, if you don't have time for hot wax, if you just uh, rub some wax on, just uh, have a, like a little piece of wax and just do a little bit and take, 
take the Brillo pad and buff it out. You could actually, it'll make your board, you know, get through, you know, get through a day if you don't have time to do a full hot wax. Yeah, so that's about it, you know. Wax it, make sure you get a thorough coat over the whole board, make sure it's warm to the touch underneath, and then scrape, you know, to your preference. You know, I try to scrape pretty decent amount. It's nice to have a little bit of wax, you know, leave, obviously you want to leave some wax on it, but uh, after that, I got to buff it out with a Brillo pad, and uh, it's usually good to go after that, so enjoy. <laughs> wax on, wax off. <laughs>